Eyewitness News begins with breaking news. Good Monday afternoon. Thanks for being with us. I'm Mike McDaniel. Today, Louisiana remembers its 52nd Governor Charles Bunny Romer, who died this morning at the age of 77. His family says Romer likely died of complications from diabetes and had been in poor health. Romer, who was born in Shreveport, was a Harvard-educated businessman. He served eight years in Congress before being elected governor in 1987. He then campaigned as a reformer in TV commercials that promised the Romer Revolution, but he had trouble turning some of his ideas into reality and just served one term as governor, leaving office in 1992. Romer tried to run again three years later, but lost. He also ran for president in 2012. Buddy Romer is survived by his wife and three children. Joining us now to talk about the impact Romer had on Louisiana and politics in this state is someone who has covered him over the years. Eyewitness News political analyst and Gambit columnist Clancy Dubos. Clancy, always appreciate your insight here. When we talk about Louisiana as a whole, how would you say he has shaped this state into what we know it as today? Well, Mike, Buddy Romer was one of few reform governors in Louisiana in the last hundred years, and it's probably no surprise that all of the governors who were true reformers served only one term each. Uh, he, he had difficulty balancing his idealism with the pragmatism that's required to actually make things change. But he did accomplish quite a bit. He strengthened our campaign finance laws. He kind of swung for the fences with a massive fiscal reform package in 1989. It failed uh, in a statewide referendum. But he then came back and pushed through many of those elements of that fiscal reform plan on a piecemeal basis, one by one or two at a time. And by the time he finished his, ter his one term as governor, he had made significant reforms in Louisiana with working with lawmakers and getting things done uh, when necessary in a statewide referendum. But he struggled because, again, he really had difficulty balancing his personal idealism with the pragmatism that is required to get things done. Sometimes you have to make compromises and he had difficulty doing that. He ran into a lot of uh, headwinds, to put it mildly, in getting things through the legislature, which was not nearly as reform-minded as he was, but he still will be remembered as a, a true reform governor who brought honesty and integrity to the office and who uh, worked as hard as he could to try to make some needed changes in Louisiana's structural problems in terms of its fiscal and tax plans. And, uh, but he did put a lot of reforms into place. He, he was one of the ones who got a cap put on uh, spending and brought in the revenue estimating conference and, and did a lot of things that, we, that are still with us in terms of our, our fiscal reforms. And I think he'll be remembered for that. Even as a one-term governor, Clancy, appreciate your insight there. Reacting to the news, Senator Bill Cassidy sent out this statement reading, quote, Buddy's election as governor signaled a turning point in Louisiana's history. He loved Louisiana, contributing to it through the public and private sector. He leaves a great legacy. My condolences to his family. And Senator John Kennedy, who worked in Romer's administration, also sent out a statement which reads, quote, Louisiana weeps. Buddy was one of the most interesting people I have ever met. He was immeasurably talented. All he ever wanted to do was make Louisiana better, and he did. That meant making the right people mad, but he understood that. When I count my blessings, I count Buddy twice.